Hello students. Today in the chapter of biology, let us continue with the process of excretion. As you remember, in our last lecture, we have studied the anatomy of kidney. Today, let us see the mechanism by which urine is formed in the kidneys. Now, if it can be recalled that the structural and functional units of kidneys are nephrons. Kidney is made up of large number of nephrons and each is a structural and functional unit. There are three main processes which are involved in the urine formation that can be divided in three categories. One is glomerular filtration. Second is known as tubular reabsorption. And third is known as tubular secretion. As the name suggests, the process of glomerular filtration starts in glomerulus. This is glomerulus. It is a cup-shaped body. The efferent blood vessel or efferent arteriole bring the blood with very high pressure in the glomerulus. Now, blood is filtered with the tiny pores which acts like a sieve and this results in pure blood moving out with the help of efferent blood vessel. So, efferent blood vessel brings dio, uh, blood with impurities to the nephron and efferent blood vessels collects the blood which is much more purified. The site where filtration takes place is glomerulus and the entire capsular structure is called as Bowman's capsule. This process is a very sophisticated and deli a delicate process which results in filtration of blood and uh, all the substances from the blood are filtered large protein molecules. They are filtered. Now the blood which is filtered and the remaining amount is known as filtrate. This filtrate is rich in protein molecules, glucose and salts and some plasma solutes. The second step is tubular reabsorption which takes place specifically in proximal convoluted tubule means the anterior part of the tubule proximal convoluted tubule it starts just after glomerulus the glomerular filtrate as I told it contains a lot of useful materials like glucose, salts of sodium, potassium filtrate contains glucose salts sodium, potassium ions and certainly large amount of water. The next process of tubular reabsorption is basically the absorption of glucose from proximal convoluted tube. The anterior part. These substances are reabsorbed from the renal tubules at various levels and in varied proportion means if this is glomerulus, Bowman's capsule means Melbigan corpuscle and this anterior part is proximal convoluted tube. This is U-shaped tube called tube of Henle and from here it is distal convoluted tube. 
so basically absorption of salts takes place in proximal convoluted tubule as well as in distal convoluted tubule p c t and d c t this is loop of henle where absorption of water takes place it can be connected from this side that the reptiles which excrete a very less amount of water because as such they uh, they are deficient as far as availability of water is concerned in their environment so they do not excrete much of the water means absorption of water takes place in loop of henle so the size of loop of henle is much larger in desert animals because they conserve maximum amount of water the next step means the tubular secretion occurs mainly in the distal convoluted tubule and collecting duct the last part of nephron collecting duct and different parts of the nephron contributes in various ways in formation of urine the excess additional waste from the blood streams into the filtrate by the active transport this is how in brief urine is formed by a single nephron now the filtrate is known as urine if we see the composition of urine 95% is water 5% part is of solid waste organic compounds like urea creatinine which are formed after metabolism in uricotelic animals like birds and reptiles it is uric acid and in aquatic forms it is ammonia and in organic compounds are found in urine sometimes what happens that uh, the kidneys do not function properly because of some chronic disease like hypertension means high blood pressure or some accidental cause due to these problems sometimes there is a increase in the amount of these waste products in the blood because kidney are unable to perform their work now to remove out or to flush out the extra amount of water from the body as well as these waste products you need to have an additional exercise which is known as dialysis dialysis is a procedure taken place in the hospitals by the experts who deal in this field it prevents the damage from the harmful substances to various vital organs in the body like heart brain kidney itself when we perform the process of dialysis let us see this is the simple wait how i am going to explain the process of dialysis means 
first the blood is flown out when we start the process of dialysis first of all blood is removed from the body via artery from hand or from any other part specifically from thighs and it is moved to a specified machine called dialysis machine this is written over there that is a hemodialyzer machine there is a special fluid present in this dialysis machine which is known as hemodialyzer where the filters of the blood takes place blood is you know first cooled down then it is passed through this dialysis machine it is filtered through a special fluid via a semi permeable membrane by simple osmosis and then again it is warmed up before being supplied to the body again means the function of kidney is performed by the dialysis machine and the repetition of the process is required that depends upon the condition of the patient let us uh, understand that if the kidneys are permanently damaged then there is no remedy and patient has to undergo a process called kidney transplant it is a costly process and still there is no guarantee that the replaced kidney it will perform the job as accurately as the original kidney was performing so the original kidney is not removed such as suppose this is the original kidney and if this kidney is not required then we will not replace the kidney rather we will put another new kidney over there and connect it with the main blood vessels of the body and as soon as it is connected it starts functioning and the patient life can be saved so this is how the process of excretion takes place in animal bodies when we see the excretion in plants then in plants there are no specialized excretory organs present as present in animals they have a very low metabolic rate which is one of the main reason behind it as compared to animals is still many types of waste products are generated in plants which are excreted through the body surface specifically from stem and leaves as you know stomata are the structures which are present on the surface of leaves which are responsible for the process called transpiration means removal of water if we see from stem products like resin product like gum they are removed which are useful for us in many ways especially commercial use stomata as i mentioned it is utilized to remove excess water as well as carbon dioxide during night this is how we complete the process of excretion in animals as well as in plants